Hey guys, welcome to Yoyang Cooking. Today I want to show you one of my favorite Taiwanese dishes and this is how to prepare 3 cup chicken or also known as sang pei ji. Now this dish is one of my favorite because it is slightly sweet, it's cooking soya sauce but also it has a slight uh, spiciness to it and that's why I love this dish. When we were in Taiwan to visit my husband's relatives, um, we enjoyed this dish so much and then I recreated it at home. I want to show you how to prepare this because this is also a great recipe after work. Now let's take a look at the ingredients because they're really simple and you should already have them in your kitchen. We will begin with the three main ingredients of the sauce and that would be Chaoxing wine, sesame oil and soya sauce. We have some fresh chilies just to give a bit of spiciness. Now to give some sweetness to this dish, we'll add some sugar. Here I'm using brown sugar and also maltose. Ginger and garlic, very very important in this dish. And also basil. Here I am using sweet basil, but you can use Thai basil which is normally used in this dish. If you do not have it, sweet basil would be a great substitute. Last but not least, we have some chicken here. I've used chicken thigh, if you want, you can add the bones together with it. It's totally not an issue. Chicken breast would also do fine. I used to cook that as well. Now, to cooking, it's very, very simple and very quick. Heat up the pan and once you sprinkle a bit of water, you will see that it evaporates immediately. That means it's ready. First things first, sesame oil into the pan. Make sure you get a good quality sesame oil and that would be then very flavorful and the aroma would be just so amazing. Next, ginger. And also garlic. So we are going to cook this at medium heat until the aroma and flavors of the garlic and ginger is all extracted into the oil and then we can add chicken. So as you can see the garlic is slightly brown and it's an indication that we can add chicken. Uh, what I like to do is I have a bit of skin on the chicken itself, on the chicken flesh itself and I like to cook it this way just so that you know the skin is slightly more crisp and then when the sauce cooks the sugar caramelizes mmm cook this for about three minutes give it a few quick stirs Okay, and then we will add Shaoxing wine. Adding wine would also add some sweetness to this dish. And then the last core ingredient, soya sauce. I'm gonna let this boil. And then chilies. Now we will add maltose and also sugar. Right after adding sugar, just let it simmer until the sauce thickens. So I've let this simmer until the gravy is much lesser right now. It has reduced and you can see that it is very much thicker. This is beautiful. We are going to add basil into the dish but before that, switch the stove off because the heat from the dish itself would start to cook the basil and then release the aroma from the basil. So this is nicely thick. Basil everywhere. And at this point of time, you can smell the flavor and aroma from the basil. That's marvelous. Looks so beautiful. Look at this dish. If you enjoy teriyaki chicken, I believe that this would be also a dish for you. That's about it. It's done. 
So as I mentioned, as I've promised, this dish is really simple and it's really delicious. You can cook this right after work, especially for those of you who are really busy, uh, mothers, you know, this dish is the one to go for. Now I am going to take a small piece just to try. Bit of sauce. Mm-hmm. What? The moment you bite into it, you get a sweetness first from the sugar and the maltos and then as you chew on, you start to feel the spiciness. I love, love, love this dish. I cannot tell you how much I do, but you have to try this out yourself. Give me a thumbs up while you're here and also subscribe to this channel if you have not. Do you know you can also inspire others to cook? It's so simple. Once you've tried any recipes on Nyonya Cooking, join the rest of the Nyonya community and upload your delicious recreations. And as usual, I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. I wish you happy cooking!